start recording now. There we go. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Jason Ward here, friendly neighborhood fitness professional. So today, rocking another live stream. I'm gonna do a TRX based workout for today. Uh, so all of the movements that I'm personally gonna choose are gonna involve the TRX minus the warm up. The warm up is gonna be a little bit more generalized. Uh, but the idea with today's routine for our Throwdown Thursday is to hit all of our muscle groups in a ladder format. So we're gonna be starting with lower reps, building our way up to higher reps, and then bringing ourselves back down to those lower reps again. So we'll be starting with one rep of each move, building up to 10, and then bringing it back down to one. Okay, so we're gonna have a press. So I'm gonna do some TRX chest presses. We're gonna have some rows. So I'm gonna do some TRX rows. I'm gonna do a single leg TRX squat, okay? Uh, and then we will have, so that will be one for each leg on those, just in case you were wondering. And then we're gonna rock the core with the TRX atomic crunch, okay? So we've got four movements that I'm gonna cycle through, one rep of each, up to 10 reps of each, and then back down to one rep of each. We're gonna do all of that four time. I'm gonna give myself a 30 minute cap to try to get through all of that work. So I'm gonna have to stay really on the ball about getting the work done as we work our way through, all right? Uh, if you do not have a TRX and you wanna follow along, all you have to do is pick a pushing movement. So you could do uh, an overhead press if you've got weights, you could do a floor press, you could do push-ups. There's lots of options. Like pick something that's a pushing movement, it's gonna work the chest, shoulders, triceps area. That's your goal there, okay? Then exercise number two is a row of some kind. Again, you can choose whatever you've got. So if you've got dumbbells, kettlebells, whatever, you could do rows per arm, right? Then squats. You could do a goblet squat. If you wanted to do single leg variation, you could do some lunges. Uh, you could even try some pistol squats if you've got the mobility and strength. Um, and then finally a core exercise. You take your pick, crunches, V-ups, hollow rocks. Like they're all good. Uh, preferably not hollow rocks. Actually, that's not a great one for this routine. Uh, something that you can get a few more reps with uh, or that you can target the midsection. Something a little bit more on the challenging side for that number of reps is your goal. All right, so you'll cycle through all of those, building up to 10 reps and then coming back down to one. So we've got a nice little pyramid that we're gonna get done rep wise. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a good sweat. It's gonna be a tough workout today. Getting the whole body crushed. We're gonna start today with a nice six minute AMRAP. A couple of movements. I'm gonna flip back over here to my countdown. Bring that up to six. All right, so where I'll be starting our warm up today with 10 bootstrappers. So you get down into a nice deep squat, grabbing your toes or the floor right in front of the body, and then you're gonna push your hips up towards the ceiling and bring yourself back down into that deep squat and repeat. And we're gonna hit 10 of those, okay? Then after that, I want you guys to do eight walkouts. So we're gonna be folding from the hip onto the hands, walking ourselves out to that push-up position, down to the floor, push ourselves back up to that standing position. Okay, we're gonna hit eight of those. Then we're gonna do six per side groiners with a little twist. So we're in that push-up position, stepping our foot outside the hand, inside elbows driving to the floor, and then opening up into a nice twist, and then repeating to the other side. Okay, and it's just those three movements. We're gonna cycle through those. That should get you loosened up, get you warmed up for today's routine. All right, who's ready? I'm ready. Heart rate's already starting to jump, getting prepped for all this. All right, so grabbing myself a quick drink. If you don't have any water, you should probably have some water. Because we're gonna get a good sweat on by the time we're done today. All right. So starting with those bootstrappers, six minutes, see how many rounds we can get done. And here we go. So 10 bootstrappers. And the goal with the bootstrappers is just to get the hips and hamstrings loosened up and activated. Before we get into the routine today.
nice and then walkouts nice strong posture walking ourselves out up back to stand eight reps One more. Those are always harder than I think they're going to be. So let's go six for each side. Back to the bootstrappers. So again, with bootstrappers, your focus is to try to get nice hip extension. Ooh. You should feel a little bit of quad activation. Notifications popping up on the screen will not go away. That's always fun. All right, walkouts. So folding from the hips to the hands, to the floor, back up we go. That got the heart rate up. All right, back to those groiners. Focus on a nice stretch through that inner thigh. And a good rotation. This is one of my favorite stretches. And dynamic stretches are always much better for warm up than static stretches. So they really get you loose, get you moving. don't sacrifice any power development. So when you're doing static stretching before a workout, you can actually reduce 
your power potential, so you're not able to generate as much force in your workout, and that means less gains, and we don't want less gains. So heart rate should be up. Should have a good little sweat happening. Feeling a little bit more prepared. So this next section is just going to be a whole lot of tough. But tough is good. Tough means gains. If we wanted it to be easy, then we wouldn't be working out, right? Working out's about fighting through some pain, some discomfort for the feelings and the results, right? It's like, yeah, sure, it sucks for a little while, but you feel so good when you're done that you start to enjoy the suck, right? It's like, oh man, why is this so hard? It's like, oh man, but it's just, it's so hard that it's good. That's the kind of mentality you want to start to develop. And the more consistently you get your workouts done, the easier it gets to talk to yourself like that, to give yourself that kind of motivation the motivation becomes a little bit more intrinsic uh, and you're just like, you want to work out because you feel better when you're done. Even when you're doing it, even if it sucks, you're like, oh man, this is awesome. When you get into that kind of headspace and you're thinking about how much of a reward your exercise is, you're going to have much better results. You're going to have much better adherence to your program. You're going to have much better long-term results. And that is the key to getting whatever you want from the gym. All of my best Results have come when I started to embrace the hard stuff that came with the gym, with the training. That is true in many areas of our lives. The more we can embrace the challenge, the better we get, the stronger we are mentally, physically, emotionally. It doesn't matter. All of those things together are what make us the best human we can be. And that, for me, is what it's all about. I want to be the best human I can be. So, as I mentioned at the start... We're going to be hitting a ladder today. I'm going to hit entirely TRX movements. We're going to be starting with one rep of each movement, then two, then three, then four, working our way up to 10 reps and then bringing ourselves back down to one rep. I'm going to give me myself a 30 minute time cap. All right. If you're dealing with heavier weights, you could always go with a longer time cap for yourself. Uh, if you're going with lighter weights, you could maybe bump the reps up a little bit, maybe go by twos instead of ones find something that's like reasonably challenging for each one, right? Uh, I'm going to be hitting uh, TRX chest press, TRX rows, TRX single leg squats, and a TRX atomic crunch, all right? So the goal is to cover the entire body, head to toe, getting all the muscles worked in a ladder format, done relatively quickly, but still trying to focus on good quality. Um, you can sub in any exercises here. You just need a push exercise of some kind. So some sort of press, push up. Uh, so overhead, chest, floor, doesn't matter what kind of press, any press. Rows, same thing, any kind of rows, dumbbells, kettlebells, grab a baby, I, I don't care. Like you can, whatever you've got for weight, make use of it, okay? For the squats, if you wanna go with the two leg squat, that's cool. I'm gonna be doing single leg, so we'll be doing one rep for each leg with the TRX for assistance and then uh, you could do lunges instead if you wanted to keep the unilateral work. Uh, and then finally, the TRX crunches, anything that works the core, whatever you like. All right. So I'm going to set up my timer here. So uh, da, 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 da. I want to do, yeah, we'll keep the countdown. I'll wind up doing some math. I'm sure if I finish this fast enough. All right. So 30 minutes. Is going to be our time frame. I'm going to try to get through all of the reps of each movement inside of the 30 minutes. It is a lot to get done. Now, I'm not sure about the level of challenge that I will experience from this, but we'll figure it out. She's going to be a burner. All right. You guys ready out there? I know I'm ready. Feeling warm, loosey goosey. Body's feeling prepped. And uh, how's that angle, actually? I just want to, yeah. It will 
be a little bit of adjusting the TRX between exercises, I think. I think I might just keep it long for the rows, make them a little bit more challenging. That's fine. Yeah. All right. So 30 minutes, starting with one rep of each, building our way up, and we got a lovely 30 minutes ahead of us. Let's get this show rolling. So chest presses is my first one. So the steeper the angle that you choose the TRX, the harder the exercise will be. And let's turn ourselves around here. Oops. Might. How's this? really feeling my hands from yesterday's workout with the kettlebells did a little bit more damage than I thought I was going to be doing Ugh. so nice thing with the ladder starts off pretty easy gets a lot more aggressive as the workout goes on. So if you guys have any fitness or nutrition questions, feel free to drop them into the chat for me. I'm actually just gonna bring that up a little bit. Oops. Two reps. Themselves all twisted around on to threes. forget that my feet are going to slip when I'm hitting those and it's going to make that exercise a little bit more challenging. Better to go to this side maybe? No, not really. So the squats are where the challenge is really going to lie for me today. My favorite things about the TRX actually is that it's adjustable so you can change angles you can change difficulty on the fly so if something's too easy you can just move your body a little bit make it a little bit harder and if it's too hard you can always move it around a little bit make it a little bit easier Variable resistance. Oops. You 
guys ever done a TRX workout? Let me know in the comments, chat, whatever. Definitely one of the best tools for training with minimal space and equipment. There you go. On to the fives. Adjusting is a good opportunity to give myself a little chance to catch my breath. So as the reps start to increase, the challenge of the workout starts to increase. It starts to become just a touch more challenging to keep your pacing. But the key in any high volume workout is to keep a good pace. Find something that you're able to maintain, keep yourself working, spend as little time resting as possible. And the longer you get into a workout like this, the harder it's gonna get higher the heart rate goes, the more you got to fight fatigue. down here. Oh, excuse me. Let's make it a little bit easier to get myself into and out of the T-Rex. Oh. And to leave a little bit less of my sweat on the floor. <laughs>
get back on my toes. So it should always be the goal to keep the heels inside the TRX, not outside the TRX as we hit any push up or core variation with the feet in the straps. Feeling those stabilizers, they're getting a little shaky. All right, back to some rows. We got a row to grow. Ooh. Fuck off. So as with most things in fitness, it matters more how you do the exercise than how many of the exercise that you do. So trying to focus on quality of execution over quantity. single leg squats are burners boys you really want to jack up your legs this is a great way to do it nice thing with the TRX here is that I can get a little bit of assistance to help me through the hardest parts of the rep, those single leg squats. Because ordinarily, I wouldn't be able to do the pistol squat without at least a little bit of assistance. So the TRX provides that so I can still get a quality movement in to try and maximize my results. Of our eight rep round. Well, my eight rep round. If you guys are following along, I don't know where you're at, but keep pushing. We're still on our way up. But still focusing on quality over quantity. It's pretty warm in here tonight. It's good. I like a good sweat. Makes me feel like I did something. We 
there halfway. So 15 minutes to go. Looks like we're gonna be hitting all 30 minutes today, as I expected. It's a lot of volume to get done in 30 minutes. It's very possible if the movements are at the right level of challenge, right? Or if your conditioning is just absurdly good. I like to think I'm in pretty good shape, but I never feel like I'm in absurdly good shape. Oh man. Excuse me. Ooh. That was not good positioning. Transitioning is a big reason that this workout's hard to finish inside of the time frame given. So when I say transitioning, I mean moving from one exercise to the next. are actually sweating enough to take me through the straps. Whew. So that's fun. Making it a little bit harder to keep that core tight when I hit those TRX atomic crunches. 12 and a half minutes to go. So this is a good volume workout, so you'll start to feel a little bit of blood flow getting trapped in that upper half. Oops. And depending on what leg exercise you chose, you might be feeling it in the legs too.
These are particularly hard for my left leg here today. <sighs> All right, we're under 10 minutes now. Getting to the top of the pyramid. I could probably get more reps by sacrificing some of the quality, but this is a challenging workout with the quality where it's at. So be robbing myself of the tension. And ultimately that means less gains, less progress, more chance for injury. Okay, so it's always better to go for the quality over the quantity. If you can get a high quality and high quantity, it's the best of both worlds, but depending on how the workout is structured, will definitely determine if you've got that in you or not. So, back to these chest press. Top of the ladder, pyramid, whatever. could also make those push-ups a bit easier by letting the strap scrape my arms. But again, that means less quality. Less quality means garbage quantity and garbage results. <laughs> and I don't want garbage results. I want premium results. Better than last time. Bigger, stronger, faster, whatever. Does not matter what the goal is. You get better with quality. Making sure you're doing things well to the best of your ability, given whatever you got. Back to the worst of the lot. Single leg squats. We're sub seven minutes now. So we're 23 minutes down in this workout. Ooh. Feeling it. She's a burner. Ah. Oh, four more. Oh my God. Oh. Okay, left leg, left leg. Hurts so good, hurts so good. Bring it on. Six down, four to go. Oh, okay. Excuse me. Five 
Five minutes left. Shoulders are tired, legs are tired, lungs are trying to keep up. Excuse me. Uh. All right. Four minutes to go. Let's get through nine. Get started on eight. And the time will probably be up. you're curious up to 10 is 55 reps of each so I'm working on the 64 reps of each round right now in total the workout gives you 101 I believe if I counted right no no Hundred even, isn't it? Yeah, hundred even. Oh. Okay. I regret nothing. maybe regret not continuing to train like this. Getting a little too into powerlifting for a while. And really sacrificing my conditioning. That's okay. I'll earn it back one step at a time by crushing workouts over and over again. Good God. All right, come on. You're almost there, Jay. Come on. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh. Minute 15. And is not the easy way to get into these guys. seconds.
just finished those rows. Whew. Oh. All right, not bad, not bad. Not quite as many calories as yesterday, but 700. Still a solid workout, nothing wrong with that. It's pretty consistent work all the way through. I tried to keep the heart rate a little bit more controlled and a little bit lower with today's routine than I did yesterday. Yesterday I wasn't really paying much attention to controlling the heart rate as much because it was more about just getting as much blood flow as possible. Uh, but. Uh, trying to keep a pace that wouldn't wear my muscles out to the point where I sacrifice quality of movement was the goal for me today. And I feel like I did that really well. So I'm quite happy how this workout came out. If you tried this one out, let me know in the comment section down below as this is going to be replayed on the YouTubes. Uh, if you're uh, on Twitter, you want to fire me off a DM, tag me in a, a photo or video of you doing the workout, that'd be great. At Words Way to Fitness on Instagram and at WW2 Fitness, the number two uh, on Twitter. Uh, you can find me either spot. Fire me a DM, tag me in a post, whatever. I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, if uh, you have any questions, feel free to fire them off to any of those platforms as well. And uh, I'll be back again tomorrow night, 5.30 Atlantic time, 4.30 Eastern. And uh, we'll get another workout in. Until then, I will see you guys on the flippity flop. Peace out, bitches.